Okay, so yung i-discuss natin ngayon ay basic integration. So, mag-start muna tayo sa basic integration rules. Number one, we have the integral of dx is equal to x plus c. Okay, for number two, we have the integral of a, f of x, is equal to a, integral of f of x, dx, where a is constant. Number three, the integral of f of x plus or minus g of x, dx, is equal to the integral of f of x, dx, plus or minus the integral of g of x, dx. Applicable to sa mga function na may two or more terms. Then, number four, we have the integral of x raised to n dx is equal to x n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Then, for number five, we have the integral of dx over x is equal to ln absolute value of x plus c. Okay, so sa lahat ng sagot natin, kailangan nating maglagay ng plus C. Importante yon. Okay, so let's start. For number 1, we have the integral of 2 dx. Okay, so sabi natin kanina, lahat ng constant isusulat lang natin. So, ang ini-integrate kasi natin dito ay x. Pero yung 2, wala naman siyang kasamang x. So, susulat lang natin siya. Then, lagay natin yung x. Yun yung ini-integrate natin. Then, plus c. Okay. Next. Again, we have the integral of e dy. So, yung e dito, consider as constant siya. So, isusulat lang natin siya. Then, ang ini-integrate natin ay y. Since, wala namang y dyan, sulat lang natin yung y, then plus c. Next, we have the integral of pi dz. Yung pi dito ay consider ding constant. So, isusulat natin, pi, then z, ang ini-integrate natin ay z. Since, walang z, we have z plus c. For number 4, we have the integral of x raised to 3 dx. Dito na natin gagamitin yung integration rule natin na number 3 kung saan sinasabi niya na lahat ng may exponent mag-add lang tayo ng 1 over yung exponent plus 1. So, ang mangyayari, we have x 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1. So, eto yung exponent natin, yung 3, mag a tayo ng 1, ganun din sa baba. Gagayahin lang natin. Then, plus C. So, magiging sagot na natin ay x, 3 plus 1 is 4 over 4 plus C. Okay. For number 5, same process. So, we have y, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. And yung final answer natin, we have y 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2 plus 1, 3 plus c. Next is, we have the integral of 8 x raised to 5 dx. Okay, so yung gagawin natin, we have 8 the integral of x raised to 5 dx. So, we have 8 times we have x n plus 1 or 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus c. Then, we have 8 times x 5 plus 1 is 6 over 5 plus 1 6 plus c. Or, we have 8 x raised to 6 over 6 plus c or we have simplify natin yung 8 over 6 so magiging 4 over 3 x raised to 6 plus c next is the integral of 10 x dx 
Okay, so gaya ng ginawa natin sa number 6, we have 10 integral of x dx. So, we have here 10 times. Okay, so wala siyang exponent pero meron tayo ditong invisible 1. So, we have x 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus c. Okay, so we have 10 x 1 plus 1 will give you 2 over 2 plus c. Okay, or simplify natin, we have 10 x squared over 2 plus c. Or simplify natin yung 10 over 2, it will give you 5 x squared plus c. Next, we have number 8. The integral of 1 over x raised to 3 dx. Okay, so yung gagawin naman natin dito, yung 1 over x raised to 3 ay pwede natin siyang isulat as the integral of x raised to negative 3 dx. Kung saan, pwede natin i-apply ulit yung rule natin na x negative 3 plus 1, magpa plus 1 ulit tayo, then Ganon din sa baba, negative 3 plus 1, then plus C. Is equal to x, negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 over negative 2 plus C. Or, pwede din natin itong isulat as negative 1 over 2 x raised to 2 plus C. So, ito, binaba lang natin, then naging positive yung exponent niya. So, ito na yung final answer natin. For number 9, we have the integral of square root of x dx. Okay, so ang gagawin lang natin dito, susulat natin yung square root of x as the integral of x raised to 1 half dx. And gagamitin lang natin yung um, power rule kung saan mag a tayo ng plus 1 sa exponent. So, we have x raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1, then plus c. Okay, so let's add 1 half plus 1 will give you x raised to 3 over 2 over 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, so kapag susulat na natin yan, Simplify na natin. So, eto, kunin lang natin yung reciprocal niya, which is 2 over 3. Then, we have x raised to 3 over 2 plus c. Okay, so, pwede nang sagot yan or pwede nyo din siyang isulat as 2x raised to 3 over 2 over 3 plus C. For our last example, we have the integral of x squared plus 2x plus 3. Okay, so, isa-isahin natin silang i-integrate. Then, gagamitan natin ng power rule. Okay, so, we have x Yung 2 mag-add tayo ng 1. So, 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus 2x. We have here the invisible 1 na exponent. So, we have 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus we have constant na 3. So, magiging 3x siya. Okay, then simplify lang natin. x 2 plus 1 is 3 over 3 plus 2 x 1 plus 1 is 2 over 2 plus 3x then plus c so we have x raised to 3 over 3 plus simplify natin to so maka cancel so we have x squared plus 3x plus c